And let me get my protocols right here. His Excellency, President David Granger, and of course, First Lady Sandra Granger, Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu, our cabinet colleagues and ministerial colleagues, Jennifer Wade, of course, and that fantastic speech you just gave. Brothers and sisters of the APNU and AFC family, comrades and friends all, don't stop the progress. You know, last Friday, we launched at Durban Park. And I never see so much people yet. I got scared when I went up to speak. But you were encouraging. And you are so very much encouraging. I managed to do well, quite frankly. And I see a crowd here. And it is bigger than what was launched at Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, comrades, who you put in charge of the government will make critical decisions. They will set the expenditure priorities and determine what comes to your communities and region like Region 5. Therefore, it is your duty to ensure that you elect the right people and leadership that will ensure that every Guyanese get a fair chance to enjoy that good life we've been talking about. And who is that leadership? That leadership is APNU. AFC Coalition. It is the only leadership and the only party that has, as I have said before, a home for everybody in Guyana and even outside of Guyana. We started a new chapter in this coalition in 2015. And I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters of Region 5, that it was probably the best political decision after forming the Alliance for Change that we made in the AFC to join up with the APNU. And I want to tell you that this coalition is here to stay a long, long time. And so, I want to make the case that when March 2nd come around, you will be there to reaffirm your full support for this coalition government led by David Arthur Granger. Of course, I have said over and over again, dependable, man of integrity, and a man you can trust who have demonstrated many times over that he gives his word and he means it. You will know that on March the 2nd, there will be a recommitment to the faith in this government. And of course, to do so many things, it is important that I state the reasons why we came together. You remember? What happened in the PPP days? You remember the economy that we had? The crimes? The murder rates? All of those. You remember the bad reports that we were having at the State Department level of the United States? We came about because we had to renew 
confidence and faith in governance and government. And we did just that. And we did it through coalition politics. As I said, coalition politics is here to stay. Because you know what it does? It creates unity. And in unity there is strength. This is why we're moving forward together, brothers and sisters. I can proudly claim that our record of achievements in four years has outperformed the PPP 23 years of blunders, even in this region. The parents of children in Ithaca now have access to a brand new early childhood education center, $36 million. Don't stop the progress! <laughs> We have introduced, and it was said by Jennifer Wade, I don't mind repeating it, because some of you sometimes miss it. We have introduced world-class health care with the hiring of 14 new medical technologists in Mahaika Barbies, which now prevents patients from traveling to Georgetown for medical tests. Don't stop the progress. And we never had a sluice at that area there up for the Abari Barbies area. And it drains 10,000 acres of land and costs $414 million. The sluice at the Edward there, don't stop the progress. <laughs> Maikoni Secondary received a new science lab for students for future development. We want to wean people away from cane cutting. That is what the PPP wants to bring back. We not saying anything bad about cane cutting, but if we have an opportunity to make them technologists and scientists and engineers, what will you do? You will wean them away. Don't stop that progress. Look, in region five here, so much was done. Work on that Mora Point pump. All the pumps there continue. And to irrigate thousands of acres of land. Don't stop the progress, brothers and sisters. The PPP always talk about farm to market roads. We have built an asphalted so much miles and kilometers of roadways and bridges. We must not in this region stop the progress. Here in region five, you have invested over $460 million to repair sea defenses after severe flood damage. I don't think you'd have had that under the PVP. Don't stop the progress. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we know that this is the most progressive agricultural belt we have. And we have to ensure that we do, in our vision, ensure that we open up more lands in Region 5. The other phases of the MMA can make us triple production. That's the vision of the APNU, AFC government. Don't stop that progress. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, for the next five years, and that's the more immediate of it, of course, it will be a longer time. We have to ensure that we make these things happen. We have to have sustained economic growth so that we can 
get wealthier and wealthier still. We have to create jobs. And all of this can only be done with this present APNU AFC government. Poverty reduction is another major goal. And we were so lucky that the minute that we came into government, oil was found. That seems to be God blessed. And if it is God blessed, it would seem that he above wants that progress to continue. So don't stop the progress. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I want to repeat what I said in Georgetown in a little ending here. We got to make choices. We have to choose in this election and we have to make it clear what we're choosing. It is between this coalition government led by President David Granger who is both properly qualified and certified and who has led this tremendous development thus far. Or you can go for an arrogant PPP government led by Irfan Ali, whose qualifications we don't know a thing about. We don't know where his certificates are coming from. And who will certainly not be his own president, but of course a puppet of the Grand Master, and you know who we're talking about. So I don't want you to be fooled, nor distracted. They can come with a lot of misinformation and fake news and false news and all of that. We must remember only to the other day, your Chairman of the MMA, Kelvin Saul, had to go through that piece of disinformation. You remember to say that the man got 10,000 acres of land and it had to be the, this government that gave him and they gave him wrongfully and all of that nonsense. The man was given it under the PPP and he's working it. What happened? People like Saul can't get land. We are a government that will never discriminate. We will give you if there is a legitimate reason. And we will certainly rationalize every lease that everybody has. Brothers and sisters, that is the disinformation that we see in and around. The PPP these days. And that is why when they propose to launch like they did in Kitty. They're not going to get the kind of support. They're the people that represent the worst choice for Guyana. And the APN UFC represents the best choice for Guyana. We represent hope. We represent hope and opportunity. And we will not just enrich a few. We want everybody in this country to be made rich. We represent the possibility of every Guyanese having that good life. We represent increased educational access and benefits for all young people to improve their capacity and capability to enter that new global marketplace. We can do great things when we work together, brothers and sisters. And this election, we work in together to ensure that the PPP remains exactly where they are. <laughs> and let us ensure that they remain where they are with even a less minority of seats in that opposition. You got to put every ounce of muscle into it to ensure that it happens. So I ask for your support, your vote on March 2nd. One good term deserves another.
Yeah. And don't stop the progress. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Let's get together and Hear the children crying Hear the children crying Saying give thanks and praise to the Lord And I will feel alright Saying let's get together and Fifth and the house